Welcome to the Art of Hitting channel. All things softball. We cover all kinds of angles in the softball area. Tonight we're we're dealing with the Florida Half Century Softball Hall of Fame. The banquet and dinner and the presentations and the inductions of the class of 2023. And the uh, person being inducted here is you plantis i think that's the way you pronounce that name i'm not greatest in pronunciation but let's listen to his in There's introduction a lot more people here than i anticipated that'll keep me on track i'm sure um, my name is Nate planets and i stand before you today with a great pleasure and honor to introduce a remarkable remarkable individual in the florida half century hall of fame my father hugh planets I'm uh, going to run through some stats and some quotes from his teammates over the years um, to kind of outline why he's so deserving of this accomplishment. I will let you know that some of these stats are dated, but so is my father, so it's okay. <laughs> uh, in his first year of 50s, my dad broke his team's home run record. He hit 49 home runs and maintained a 785 average that year as well. Um, he's a, a force to be reckoned with on the field, and he has proved that age has just refined his abilities and solidified his status as an impactful player as well. well. What truly sets my dad apart is that it's not just his statistical achievements, but his commitment to leadership both on and off the field. This year he's played all 10 positions, including pitching, after he told me that I'm not allowed to pitch because it's too dangerous. Uh, also, we're both left-handed, and I remember it was probably eight or nine when you told me that lefties don't play shortstop. So it's good to know that that dream is still alive for me. <laughs> My dad's not just a player, he's a leader, and he helps motivate his teammates and keep things on his teams running smoothly. With a resume boasting a minimum of three state championships, three runner-up titles in the top division, he's not only made history, but he's also proven that he can elevate the performance of any team that's fortunate enough to have him. He's also one of the few players that's played for the number one four and a half century team, 50s team, and 60s team in the same season. Throughout this speech, I've integrated multiple quotes, and some of these quotes you'll hear different nicknames for my dad. Um, Suddenly? Yeah. Some of them are nicknames from teammates. Um, some of them are terms of endearment from family members, is what we like to call them. Uh, but it just shows the many hats that he wears and the balance that he has. But it's all the same man. I want to start off with a quote from someone who couldn't be here tonight, and someone who would have loved to be here to support my dad. Um, and it begins, it is my honor to offer my congratulations to one of the most outstanding ball players I know on his induction to the Florida Half Century Hall of Fame. Hugh is an amazing first baseman. I call him Silk, and if you ever see him play, you would know why. No one is smoother. In addition to his great abilities on the field, he's a leader on our team in every way. What a pleasure to have him as a teammate and friend. Thank you to the Four and a Half Century for recognizing an outstanding player in person. Congratulations, and I look forward to uh, enjoying our season together. Roger Tabor, Team Florida. We wish Roger could have been here with us today, but we are thankful for him and his contributions. The next quote is, I met Hugh when he was 17, and he was a beast on the basketball court. That drive and passion was transferred to softball just a few years later. Hugh Dog has been a wrecking, wreaking habit on opposing teams for now 35 plus years. A Hall of Fame resume for sure, both on and off the field. Congrats, my brother. Johnny Miles, Florida Half Century Hall of Fame member. Hugh, a true friend, great teammate, warrior on the field, and now in the Florida Half Century Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Johnny Huffelfinger, Florida Half Century Hall of Fame member. <laughs> so 
last quote, I promise. That's, that's it. Uh, <laughs> I've played softball with Hugh for several tournaments, and he has proved that age is just a number. The fact that Hugh outhits everyone 20 years younger isn't even the most impressive thing about him. The most impressive thing about Hugh is his love for his family and friends. Hugh, you make those around you feel important and included, and I couldn't be more thankful to know you and your amazing family. Congratulations on this amazing achievement, but know you're leaving behind a bigger legacy from all the lives you impact for being an outstanding husband, father, grandfather, and friend. Enjoy this moment. You deserve it. Tyler Woolman, C-Class player, Orlando, Florida. It's important that you guys know that there's no lies in any, in any of these quotes. Um, I invited, invited him to a tournament two years ago for my Challenge Cup team full of 20-year-olds and he outhit every single one of us in that tournament. <laughs> I played a tournament with him where he broke his arm in the second game and swung the bat with one hand the rest of the tournament and outhit every single one of us. <laughs> I invited him up to Tampa to play on my Sunday night Deer League team which should be a, a fun time, not competitive. Um, when I asked my teammates, I was like, hey, can I bring my dad along? They're like, sure, thinking that, you know, I'm gonna bring some old guy that's just gonna kind of hang out and, you know, be there. Uh, they quickly realized how wrong they were, and then they told me that I couldn't come back unless I bring him with me. <laughs> so, uh, after about a season or two, they started calling him Legend. And he still goes by that nickname on that team to this day. He's backed by countless achievements. He's bolstered by the unwavering support of his family, teammates, and sponsors. He's been dedicated to the game for over three and a half decades. These things show his enduring commitment, constant pursuit of improvement, and profound love for the sport. He's not just an athlete, he's a role model, a mentor, and an individual whose passion for the sport has left an enduring legacy. Hugh, Huey, Hugh Dog, Bam, Dad, Legend, Hall of Famer, all things he will be able to answer to now. Ladies and gentlemen, as we welcome Hugh Plants in the Florida Half Century Hall of Fame, let us celebrate not only his remarkable achievements, but his unyielding determination that made him true, a true legend in the world of softball. Congratulations, Dad. We'll see how long that takes. <laughs> but thank you very much. 
Welcome, you plantis, to the class of 2023 Florida Half Century Softball Hall of Fame. Well deserved honor. Looking forward to you uh, playing to your 95. Don't forget it. Watching the Art of Hitting channel, listen to the dugout will expand your horizons. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Please hit subscribe. Help us get to where we're going.